don't think I can go near. Spread it on toast. Yeah, you're Fabulous really selling the stuff fish to me. I know I am. I quite fancy using uh, this homemade potted meat. What I was after was, you know, something haggisy or black puddingish. Oh, Jax has unknowingly picked up one of our secret ingredients. If she wins a starter, she could end up with another portion of potted meat for main or even worse, dessert. Right, thank you very much. Very I'll welcome. see you soon. Uh, Jack, have you forgotten something? Oi, Mrs. <laughs> oh, I'm not Paige either. <laughs> <laughs> Typical glass region, trying to fly out the door. Busted, and Alistair's got it all on camera. I'm going to have to have a wee smell of it. Potty teed. I mean, I think if it was called something Potty more teed. glamorous, you'd... Oh, the meat yeah. now is glamorous. Yeah. It used to be called... Oh. oh, so what you're saying is it was the head of a, an animal. I'm going to crumble that on top, on top to give you a nice savoury edge okay. on your, your turnip soup. OK, Jack, because you won, you get to choose the mystery. Oh, I forgot. So would you like box number one or number three? OK. Three. OK. Ooh, this is exciting. Jack's could either win treacle or potted heed. I'm actually a little bit afraid for you. Because you know what's in the box. <gasps> yes! Oh, Goodness, how lucky are you? are you? I didn't have too much money, so I've been a wee bit creative. I've got this lovely wee sort of gin samples. Then uh -huh. I spied some rhubarb growing in a wee patch. Have you been in someone's garden? Uh -huh. Stealing. No, he knew about it. I did speak to him and say, could I possibly get some rhubarb? I only took a tiny wee bit. Jack's scones are now also baking in the oven and she's poaching her rhubarb in some, say, an over-generous portion of gin. How are we doing? Right, so I've, I poured the gin over the rhubarb Did after you really? all. I just thought all it gives... It. Well, I had some. <laughs> no, I poured it all over yeah. the rhubarb and a wee bit of sugar. I would normally make puff candy or honeycomb hokey pokey, but hokey pokey. You need a, a corn syrup, a golden syrup, or a honey right. to make that work. But Today we have treacle. treacle. So I'm going to try it. So what you do with the, the puff candy is just melt the sugar normally to the same colour as what your golden syrup or your honey is. So I'm just going to feel it in the pan just to see are all the grains of sugar melted because ultimately that's what you want. You're dissolving the sugar and then you add the puff, which is the bicarbonate of soda, and then we get it out of the pan. Jax is done with her treacle honeycomb hokey pokey thingy majiggity. Did it, did it puff? It puffed. Oh, wow. Look at that colour! So it stayed with the, the violet colour that was oh, in the gin is... and then the pink from the rhubarb just kept it that way. Oh, that is incredible! Phew! They're right! Five, four, three, two, one, finish! Gary has made an apple tart hatan topped with crushed chocolate raisins, caramel sauce and a side of lemon cream cheese. Jack's made her take on Queen's pudding with treacle scone topped with gin soaked rhubarb and meringue drizzled with treacle custard and treacle honeycomb shards. So the winner of today's corner shop cook-off is... Oh, oh, I'm so well happy. Done. You can jump. You can do a big dance. You can jump up and down.